Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the video that you guys have been waiting for for the longest time. Excuse my shirt, I have paint on it. I painted in this shirt and I kind of regret it, but whatever. I'll be showing you guys my entire eyeshadow palette collection. Disclaimer, I just want to say that I am in no way bragging about all the eyeshadow palettes that I have. Trust me, I know I have a lot. Especially after doing this video, I have come to terms with the fact that I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I'm more cautious on the palettes that I buy now, so that I can say. I am going to start off this video with showing you guys the palettes that I have decided to declutter to my Poshmark. You guys can check out my closet on there if you want to, you definitely don't have to, but I'm just going to start off with the palettes I've decluttered. Get that out of the way because I still have them in my possession. So they're still a part of my collection. I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, let's get started. So as I was filming this, I thought it would be pretty cool if I showed you guys the palettes that I'm decluttering to my Poshmark. So uh, that's what this section is right here. So the first one is the Prelude Lime Crime palette. This palette is really pretty. It's just, I just don't find myself pulling to 8 pan palettes as often, but I feel like someone else probably could get more use out of this. The other one from Lime Crime that I've decluttered is the Venus 3 palette. This one is very beautiful, but it's kind of the same thing as the one I just showed you. Then we have Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. This one is very cool toned. Not really a fan of the shimmers, honestly. Like, I don't know what... <sighs> it's so hard to explain. They're just not as like eye-catching as I prefer. Then we have the Bretman Rock palette. This one is just not my favorite color story. I've only used it once. Then we have the BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette. I haven't even used this one. It's completely new. Yeah. We have the Iconic London Day to Slay palette, I think. Yes. I loved this palette when I first got it, but now that other things have entered into my collection, I've found myself reaching for other things and I don't reach for this one as much. Also decluttered In the Bottom of Your Hand Volume 2. This palette is not very inclusive when it comes to blushes, bronzer, there's only one bronzer in here and it's not inclusive at all. And these are the eyeshadows that they chose. Can't really do much with this palette. So yeah. Nude Beach Palette. This one is very very neutral, not a fan. Zoeva Matte Palette. Zoeva Caramel Melange, the Balm Alternative Rock Volume 1 palette. I can't do much with this palette. I find that someone else could get a lot better use out of these than me. Creme Brulee, Le Macaroon. I don't find myself reaching for smaller palettes like this. I don't know why, but that's just, I feel like someone else could get much better use out of these. We have the donut. Lastly, from BH Cosmetics, we have the Desert Oasis palette. Very pretty, but I just really don't pull from this that much. So I'd rather have someone else really enjoy this palette. All right, so now we have Juvia's Place palettes. We have the Saharan palette, Ahala palette, Nubian 2. I don't think I've used this one yet because I just... Oh, no, I have. I think I've used this one once, though. Violet's mini berries the mauves the chocolates the nudes the sweet pinks the topes warrior three the zulu warrior two the festival the warrior this one is my favorite nude palette ever so pretty the shimmers are out of this world ridiculous. If you're not familiar with Juvia's Place shimmers, they're crazy pigmented and amazing. Look at that. That formula is stunning. Tribe palette. Love. The Saharan palette. Freak palette. The Nomad. Nubian 3. I also have a Ranking My Juvia's Place palette video coming very soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. I have the Nubian, which is new to my collection. I just got this one when it was on sale, I think for like $5. The Magic palette. Very pretty shades in here. ABH Nervina Volume 3 palette. Nervina Volume 1 palette. Volume 4 
palette. Norvina did her thing with this one. Norvina Volume 3 palette. Or 2. No, I lied. Norvina Volume 2 palette. So we have the Beauty Bay Evolve palette. So beautiful. This is $25. Beauty Bay Fiery palette. Haven't used this yet, but this is a palette that I bought specifically for the fall time. So I know this is going to be a staple come fall. Beauty Bay Origin. Also really pretty fall palette and then we have the beauty bay nudes palette this is such a staple palette and this is a dupe for a couple of palettes that have just come out recently in the beauty community this is a 20 dollars palette 42 shades for 20 dollars that is such a good deal my favorite from beauty bay the bright matte palette everything in here you need this is also 20 dollars Lastly, for Beauty Bay, we have the Identity Palette. This one is really, really unique. Alright, so now we're moving into Glam Light. So we have the Donut Palette. This one is so cute. I keep all of my Glam Light palettes in their original, like, packaging because the packaging is just so different. I have a Tutorial Sunday using this palette. It's so cute and tiny. Street Taco Palette. I haven't used it yet, but I will. The paint palette, this one, oh my goodness, this one. Do not get me started with this. I literally keep everything in its packaging <laughs> for Glam Light because it's just so hard to throw out. So I feel like an artist every time I use this palette just because of the design of it. So unique. Then we have the pizza palette. I have not used this one yet. This one's also new to my collection, but I will be using this very, very soon. I just love the packaging of this palette. It's still in its beautiful form, but this is the pizza palette. The cake palette, and this one is my favorite Glam Light palette just because the shades in here are beautiful. I love Glam Light's shimmer formula. If you've never tried their shimmer formula, you are definitely missing out on their palettes. The Taco Palette. This one is the bigger size one from the Street Taco Palette. Nice fall shades in here. Lastly, we have the Burger Palette from Glam Light. And this one's the Burger Palette. This is my favorite shade, Blue Cheese. I don't like Blue Cheese in real life, but this shade is to die for. For ColourPop palettes, we have the Midnight Masquerade Palette. I need to use this one a lot more than I do. This shade right here, Frog and Wife, my favorite shade, truly, madly, deeply. This is my least favorite ColourPop palette because transition shades in here are very light, but this is a really beautiful palette. The shimmers in here are amazing. No complaints at all when it comes to the shimmers. The X's and O's palette. This one is fairly new to my collection. The Bye Bye Birdie palette. I did just pick this up when they had the All-Star sale. So I'm really happy I did because this palette is so much more prettier in person. Then we have the California Love palette. This one is my absolute favorite 12 fan ColourPop palette. This shade, Diego, my favorite shade, all that palette. This one is such a beautiful date night palette. Then we have the Ola Chola palette, and this is ColourPop's first all matte 12 pan palette. They released this palette, and then once it sold out, they did not replace it. I don't know what happened, but I'm so happy I got my hands on this collection. This is by far ColourPop's best packaging. Like, look at this. So happy I picked this up. Then we have the Zodiac palette. This is Kathleen Light's collaboration with ColourPop. This palette is very different. It is kind of hard for me to create looks. The Dream Street palette, and this one is very, very dreamy. I don't use this one as much as I should. The Sweet Talk palette, Ulta exclusive, You Are a Cutie. A lot pretty in person than the pictures online, I will say. Then we have the highly anticipated Sailor Moon palette. I got this one on the first release, and it is a really pretty spring palette. I don't think I would get a lot of use out of this year-round, but this purple, gorgeous. The Mulan collection, and I highly recommend this palette. I know it's really neutral. It's half cool tone, half warm, but I think this is the perfect palette for those of you who 
love neutral looks but also love those really really nice pops of color garden variety palette this one is one of their newest releases i love this palette succulents are my favorite plant so i really had to pick this one up I love this purple shade in here. Very pretty. Misunderstood palette. I needed to snag this up before they discontinued this one. I haven't gotten much use out of this, but I know for October, this is going to be my best friend. It's all good palette. I love this one for the summertime. It's really, really pretty. Bare Necessities, such a staple in everyone's collection. Mine is very dirty. That's how much I love this one so jaded palette and this one is never really in stock but if it, you see it go in stock don't hesitate to pick it up because this is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes Kathleen Lights did an amazing job on this palette and this is by far her best collaboration with ColourPop strawberry shake palette which is new to my collection Owen smoke Owen coconuts which is also new to my collection main squeeze blue moon one of my favorite ColourPop nine pan palettes it's my pleasure Ooh la la, Orange You Glad, Mar. This was my first ColourPop 9-pan palette. This is the 9-pan palette that got me loving ColourPop. So thank you, Mar palette. Ooh, I like you a lot. I love this palette. This is literally Ariana Grande in a 9-pan palette. If you got Peach, new to my collection, haven't used it yet, but it's a really pretty peach palette. In a trance. This is my favorite one out of the tie-dye collection. Just My Luck. Aura and Out, meant to be. I haven't used this one yet. Still got the paper in here. This Bliss, Uh Huh Honey, The Ray of Sunshine, Blush Crush, Nude Mood, Making Mauves, Frozen to Elsa Palette, Frozen to Anna Palette, Love Bird, All Things Equinox. He's got Solstice Palette. So we have from Cara Beauty the Girl Scout, Orange Pop, Purple Haze, Beach Days, Girls Just Want to Have Sun, Summer Sunna. I have a review on all of these palettes on my channel, so I'll definitely put a card up on the screen. So I have two Profusion palettes. I had more, but I decided that I really wasn't going to use them, so I have these two. BH Cosmetics, we have the Midnight Festival palette. This one is so unique to my collection. B Bella Cosmetics Cool Breeze palette. I have a review of this as well. The formula is really, really good. This palette is $14.99. <laughs> such a good, good price point for such a good palette. Rude Cosmetics Roaring 20 palette. This one I loved. I have a review of this. I love this palette. So much fun. Elf Retro Paradise palette. This was such a summer staple for me. I really, really enjoyed this palette. And this made me fall in love with e.l.f.'s eyeshadow formula. BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona palette. This one is my favorite 16 color palette from BH Cosmetics. Just because the shades in here are so sultry and beautiful. It is really, really stunning. Love in London. I have not used this one yet. But I will eventually. Then we have the Hanging in Hawaii palette. Definitely not my favorite one from BH Cosmetics because it's so cool tone. Summer in St. Tropez. Smitten in Switzerland. Also haven't used yet, but I will. I thought this is a really, really nice winter palette. So definitely going to get some looks out of this during the winter time. Mimosa palette. And I haven't used this one as much as I want to, but I definitely will start to use this one more. Avocado Toast. Trendy in Tokyo. Kylie Jenner. Ulta Exclusive 2019 Holiday Collection Palette. Violet Voss Best Life 2. Violet Voss Best Life. These glitter shades are doing something a little bit weird. They're kind of leaking and I don't know why. It makes me not want to use this palette. I have no idea why the glitters are leaking. And I just got that palette, by the way, like maybe like three months ago. Then we have the Hello Charmers BoxyCharm Palette. As you guys can tell, love this blue shade. Life's a Drag palette. Haven't used this yet, but I will. The Maddie Ziegler X Morphe palette. My first Lunar Beauty palette, Strawberry Dream. Lunar Beauty Moon Spell palette. So gorgeous. This is such a pretty palette. Violet Voss Coral Crush. Violet Voss Sugar Crystals. Hip.x Spongebob, very fun. Jackie Aina palette. This was in my 
Ooh, this was in my favorites for this month. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. AKW Fiery Palette. Haven't used this yet, but it is in the top of my vanity for use for the fall time. Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Palette. I talk about this a lot on my channel, but look at this palette. It's so beautiful. Morphe Main Event Palette. I have a review of this on my channel. I love this palette. These shades, amazing. This palette is so slept on. I don't see that many people talking about it, but it's really good. 35C Everyday Chic Palette. Thanks to this palette, this review on my channel is the most viewed video on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. This palette is definitely holding a special place in my heart. Well, that was all of my eyeshadow palettes, you guys. Wow. Looking at these, I definitely have a lot of palettes. More than one person needs. But I do rotate through all of my palettes. I try to use a different palette every day when I do my makeup. I'm definitely a makeup enthusiast. That's why I have so many palettes. But if you watch this whole video, thank you so much. It means so much to me. And, uh... I'll see you on my next one. Peace.